What's up Team CMF? Welcome back to another video. So today I decided I wanted to give you guys a full mobility workout. Why am I deciding to do this? So I think mobility is a huge neglected thing in the fitness industry. So we're all about working hard, we're, we're working out, we're using weights. What happens is our muscles are going to get extremely tight. When our muscles get tight, that causes imbalances in the body. So if I have a tight chest, my shoulders are going to be constantly rolled in, meaning I'm going to have a weak back and I'm going to be more prone to shoulder injuries. So tight muscles equals imbalances equals injuries. So how do we prevent tight muscles? By mobilizing our muscles, by stretching our muscles. So I'm going to give you guys a free and full lower body workout that's going to help you guys mobilize your hips, mobilize your ankles, mobilize your hamstrings, and mobilize your quads. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get right into it. Let's get started with our left ankle. So what we're going to do here is we're going to have our left foot planted on the ground. Our right knee is going to be right at level with our left heel. So now we're going to press our knee forward. We are going to keep our heel on the ground. We're just going to hold that position there, forcing our heel on the ground, driving our hips and our knee, knee forward, driving our hips down, and we're going to hold that there for about a minute. So what I want you guys to think about while you're holding these exercises, I want to think about your breathing. You want to take about a five second breath in and about a seven to eight second breath out. With each inhale, you're going to hold the stretch. With each exhale, you're going to try and get a little deeper into the stretch. So here we go guys, practice that breathing. Five seconds in, one, two, three, four, five. Good, now breathe out for eight seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right guys, we have about 20 more seconds on this side, then we're gonna switch right into the next side. Driving that heel into the floor, feeling the stretch right in the back of our ankle. Achilles heel area here. Definitely a tight area for you runners. All right, we got about five more seconds here, guys. All right, guys, now let's swing the right leg forward, left leg back, coming up forward, keeping that heel planted, holding it here for about a minute, guys, focusing on our breath. Relax into it. Nice deep breaths in, seven to eight second breath out. Approaching 20 more seconds guys, here we go. All right guys, now we're gonna go right into, so we just stretched the back of our ankles, now we're gonna stretch the front of our ankles. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have our feet together in the back. Our toes are together, our knees are flared out. Let me get into position where I can show you guys. Knees are flared out, toes are together. Now we're gonna slowly come back into it. So slowly walk your hands back into it. Open up your chest. You guys should feel this right in your ankles right in the front of your ankles, right in the quads. We're gonna hold this for about a minute. Here we go. It's gonna to be tough to breathe here, guys, but try and focus on your breaths. Nice deep breaths in, exhale, try to get deeper into the stretch. If this is too easy for you guys, come down onto your forearms or even come down onto your lower back. This is about good for me. We're not trying to push at the point of pain. We're trying to come to a discomfort and hold it there. Here we go guys, halfway. If you guys feel like you can get a little deeper, get a little deeper, come down onto your forearms. For me, this is good. <laughs> 15 more seconds guys. Alright guys, you can slowly walk back out of it. 
Roll your ankles around. You're gonna feel some tension in your ankles. Just make sure you roll them around. Try to get 10 rolls one way, 10 rolls the other way. All right guys, now we're gonna get right into those hamstrings. All right, moving right along here, we're gonna spread our legs out. Try to stretch them out about as far as you can get them. You don't want them too close, but you don't want them too far out. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna walk our hands forward. We're gonna bring, try to bring our chest to the ground. It's not gonna be possible, but you're gonna get a stretch in your lower back, which is good, especially if you're hammering a lot of pulling movements like deadlifts, hand cleans, all that good stuff, guys. You also are gonna feel stretch on the inside of your quads here. That is definitely gonna help you on your squats if you guys have a tendency to have your knees cave in. So here we go, guys. We're gonna hold this for about two minutes. You're gonna feel it in your hamstrings, lower back, and inner thigh size of the quads. Here we go. Focus on that breath. If you can, guys, the goal is to try to get your forearms to the floor, but don't force it. Ease into it with each breath. Here we go, guys. Relax. Relax for the remainder of this minute, 30 seconds here. Relax. Think about the stretch. Try to get as deep as you can while breathing. Here we go guys, 15 more seconds. Try to get as deep as you can now. All right, let's get right into the next hamstring exercise. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our right leg down, we're gonna bring our left leg out. Now we're gonna take both hands, we're gonna go both hands on opposite side of our leg. Now we're gonna try and sit this leg down, dropping our hips down. You should feel pretty tight in the hamstring here. The farther you guys can walk your hands out, the better. For me, I have very tight hamstrings, so we're gonna hold this one for about a minute and a half. Focus on our breath. Try to get deep, stretch out that muscle. Ready, and go. Hamstrings are a common injury, guys, especially for track runners, uh, any sort of athlete, like football or anything. We use our hamstrings for almost every exercise, and that's why they're so prone to injury, and that's why hamstrings have a tendency to be extremely tight. So stretching these hamstrings is really important. So really try to focus on getting deep, feeling that pull, getting to the point of discomfort, but not pain. Thirty more seconds, here we go. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, slowly crawl out of that one, guys. Left knee down, swing that right leg up, keep that right leg straight. Now we're gonna go to the right side, same thing, minute and a half, here we go.
Almost there guys, 30 more seconds. Really try to sit those hips down, feel that stretch in the hamstring. As you're sitting your hips down, simultaneously try to bring your chest to the floor. 15 more seconds. Alright guys, slowly crawl out of that. Now we're going to focus on the hips, one of the most important parts of the body, especially if you guys are doing a lot, a lot of squats. Hip exercise number one, we're going to take our left leg, we're going to swing it forward. We're going to have a 90 degree angle uh, between our, our knee, our calf, and our hamstring. Now we're going to plant our hands on the inside of our foot. You actually can grab your foot with your left hand. Now scoop your right knee back. You're gonna have your shins flat on the floor, your knees are on the ground. Now you're gonna try and sit down on the floor. You're gonna drive your hips into the floor. You guys are gonna feel a, hand, uh, a stretch in the front of your hip flexor here in the bottom of your hamstring here. This is gonna open up your hips and definitely relieve some pain from squats. Here we go guys, we're gonna hold this one for a minute and a half. Now if you guys need a progression, if this is too easy for you, you can take your forearms, you can come down to the floor here, you can scoot this leg out and try to get both forearms on the floor. Me, I have pretty tight hips, I squat three times a week, so I'm gonna stay up here. But focus on driving your hips to the floor, really feeling that, that stretch in the hip flexor in the front here and the hamstring on this other leg. One more minute guys, really breathe here. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly crawl out of that one, guys. All right, now swing our right leg up. Same position, just on the other side. Hands on the inside, knees back. Grab that outside foot, drive those hips down. Here we go, guys, minute and a half. Once again, guys, if you need a progression, you can bring your forearms onto the floor. Me, I'm just not that flexible. Here we go guys, keep up the good work. I promise you, your workouts are gonna be much better if you do this. It only takes about 20 minutes once a day and you'll definitely see the benefits. We got five more seconds here, here we go. Four, three, two, one. Slowly crawl out of it. All right guys, for this next exercise, we're gonna get into a squat stance. So my feet are slightly outside of my hips, my toes are pointed. I'm dropping down into my bottom of my squat. I'm taking my elbows, I'm driving my knees out like this. I have my hands in prayer position. Now, the more important part that I want you guys to focus on is when you're down here, instead of be rounded, pull your spine up. 
Focus on good posture. Good posture is extremely important. All right, guys, so get into that position. We're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one. Pull our chest up, open up our hips. Use our elbows, drive our hips open as we pull our chest up. Here we go, guys. This is definitely something that you can do prior to squatting or after squatting to open up your hips. We got a minute and a half in here. Just breathe, breathe. This one could tend to get painful. If it gets painful, come onto your hands. Use your elbows to open up your legs like that. But try really to sit into your heels. Focus on that good positioning. This will also help your squat form. Forty more seconds, guys. I'm gonna leave these next forty seconds for you to just think and relax. legs around a little bit if they're a little tight. That's going to conclude the hip session. Now let's move on to the quads. Alright guys, this quad stretch is going to be a challenging one for you. So we're going to swing our left leg forward, we're going to reach back, we're going to grab here, and we're going to press our hips forward, squeezing this butt cheek here, driving our hips forward, trying to balance, feeling that quad stretch. Now we're going to hold this here for about one minute to a minute and a half. Ready and go. Here we go guys, 30 more seconds. Really throw those hip forward, keep the chest nice and tall, feel it in that quad. All right guys, slowly bring that leg down. We're gonna come over, we're gonna switch sides, swing that right leg up. Grab that back foot, get nice and tall on your torso. Push your hips forward, feel that quad stretch. Make sure guys, if you really wanna feel the stretch that you're squeezing the butt cheek that the leg is being pulled up. So for me right now, it's the left side. Squeeze that butt cheek, you'll feel an extra tension in your quad. Here we go guys, coming to the final stretch here. Really squeeze the butt cheek, drive that, oh shit. It's okay, that'll happen sometimes. As I was saying, squeeze the butt cheek, drive the chest up, throw those hips forward, feel the stretch, 15 more seconds. All right, 
and slowly release that one. That's going to conclude the, the quad session. Now let's get into this last lower body mobility exercise. Guys, yeah, this last one's my personal favorite. I like to call it the pigeon. So you're going to be on all fours. You're going to swing your left leg up. You're going to have it in a parallel sense. If you feel some pain in your knee, let it drift back a little bit. So I don't know if you guys can see that. How my leg is set up like that. Now, from here, you're gonna stay nice and straight. You're not gonna be leaned over to one side. You're gonna stay nice and straight. And you're gonna try and sit your hips down. It's not, sometimes it's not gonna be possible. Like for me right now, my butt cheek is not on the ground, but I'm feeling excruciating <laughs> discomfort in my, uh, my glutes. So glutes are another important part of squats, deadlifts, and the majority of lower body exercises. So we're gonna sit here for about a minute and a half. If it's too easy for you guys up here, try to bring your chest to the floor. Reach those arms out as far as you can and try to bring your chest as close to the floor. For me, I'm tight. I'm gonna sit up here. But here we go, guys. We got about a minute left. Just breathe, relax, focus on the stretch. Alright guys, slowly crawl yourself out of that one, bring your left leg back, swing your right leg up, same thing guys, start off nice and tall, slowly progress your way down, try to bring your chest to the floor, make sure you're breathing, make sure you're not leaned too far off to one side, and let's just relax guys, let's finish this last minute, I'm going to give this minute to you guys, I just want you to focus on the stretch and breathe, here we go. Alright guys, slowly roll out of that one, bring yourselves up, give yourself a round of applause, that was good guys. So just to reiterate one more time, sorry for the distraction there, just to reiterate one more time that our muscles get extremely tense from the extreme training that we're doing all the time, the hard work we're putting in. That tense muscle can cause an imbalance in our body, which can lead to injury. Injury means that we can't do what we love, which is working out. So I wanted to give you guys that lower body uh, mobility exercise or workout routine. You guys can reuse this every day if you want, or you can do it before and after uh, a leg day, a squat session, uh, a heavy training session. Uh, I plan on making an upper body mobility session as well so that we can prevent our shoulder injuries, we can prevent our pecs from tearing, we can keep our back nice and healthy. Uh, for now guys, keep using this. Um, I love all the support I'm getting. It's really like I didn't think my channel would, would grow this much this fast. So I'm excited. Hit that subscribe button, join Team CMF, and let's get better together.